guys, my name is Layla Sophia. I am an artist and fine jewelry designer. If you like contemporary fine jewelry, if you like luxury handbags, all things interiors, and I have some fun videos for you. Today, we are heading into spring, event season, wedding season. I know you guys have at least one wedding event, cocktail party something on your to-do list for the next couple months. I'm here to help you out with the perfect evening bag. If you guys are new here, thank you so, so much for tuning in. I can't wait to see you in all of my future videos, so make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram at Layla Sophia Jewelry. So let's get into my first, first pick. Quick little side note, I really was debating putting some vintage options on this video. I think I'm gonna do a whole separate video of vintage just to satisfy, you know, my pre-loved vintage lovers. I am one of them as well, and I have some that I love. But these are gonna be pieces that you can go out and buy right now, some of my absolute favorite ones. So first, during the couple fashion weeks, especially I think in the fall, I saw a lot of amazing influencers carry the Jimmy Choo evening bags dying. They're so cool. I particularly love the one that just looks like a little lollipop candy drop. It's just a little pocket with then a rhinestone handle. What more could you ask for? Obviously they seem quite small. Evening bags clearly are not meant to fit an entire, you know, lifetime worth of things. I would check out the Jimmy Choo. Obviously they are a little bit pricier, but especially if you're someone who loves to match shoes with your bags, obviously what better pair could be more perfect. Next is a bag brand that I have one amazing piece from. I just got this. This was in my most recent kind of haul video. This is the Benedetta Brizice Ursula bag. I am obsessed. Somebody invite me out so I can take this somewhere. I love it so much. You won't be able to see the full, full sparkle, but when I tell you she sparkles. Benedetta Brizice has such amazing options. I'm a huge fan, I know some of you guys are too, of Cassie Thorpe. She has kind of the original, it looks more so like a functional purse with a kind of flap close and then that top handle. Also Alyssa Lenore I think has the same one, maybe a different color. I really also like the clutch. There's a really long one that I think is kind of cool. I think there's also a shorter version. Benedetta Brusice, like, synonymous with evening bags, the shine, the sparkle, so, so, so perfect. I don't know who's gonna be surprised by this, but I kind of love these bags. The self-portrait bow bags. I'm not a girly girl, as we all know. I'm, you know, been dressing minimally for a very, very long time. I Something childlike in me is like, a rhinestone bow on a bag, okay. I love it, I love the size options. I particularly, there's a silver and a gold one that I think would just be so cute, but you can go more understated. It's one of those examples of like, when it's right, it's right. That bow is so beautiful, it's so perfect. So many other brands have tried doing bows, kind of bells and whistles, and for some reason, I think this one looks really sturdy. The prices are amazing. You can find some on the pre-loved market. I saw one in person at the Real Real. It seems like they wear really well. Like, how adorable to just tote that around. And for another brand I've talked about once or twice on my channel, the Magda Boutram evening bags, I think are so, so cool. Possibly kind of, it's like classic with a conceptual twist. The one that I think is really interesting is with the very, very long kind of dangle dripping down of rhinestones. Magda Boutram is one of those really, really cool contemporary brands. Again, a little bit kind of on the pricier side, but I really think investing in one or two amazing evening bags, like you're gonna be going to events, especially coming up in the springtime, 
for the rest of your life, having just like that one pop moment, how fun. And this is a broader, much broader <laughs> brand that I think truly has evening bags. They have the market cornered. Bulgari. I love these Bulgari Serpenti bags. There's something about them. I, I know you guys can probably tell I've been talking about them here and there. Romina Rosemé has really made me love the Bulgari Serpenti. I think that this is a great option if you don't want like a micro evening bag, which a lot of evening bags are. You can't fit your entire life, but if you want to go like more transitional, something you could wear every day, but then also transitions perfectly to an evening cocktail party or to an event, but you want to actually fit things in, the Bulgari Serpenti, pretty much any of them, just pick one. Particularly, I do happen to love the gold detail one. I love the Serpenti tote, and I've already talked about, I love the Serpentine pouch. Any of those are kind of major. This is the perfect evening brand. And another brand <laughs> that is synonymous with evening wear. On, and just like that, season one, <laughs> Seema, Carrie's new friend, yes, I'm a Sex and City nerd, has the Lon Vaughn Panther bag. And I was like, what? excuse me this panther leopard not sure exactly what it is the pencil bag iconic could you imagine just like busting this out come to my wedding with this bag i have i'm not getting married anytime soon come to my wedding with this bag because i will love you forever i think this is such a cool bag again investment level but that's a big chunk of metal with that cat on top Lon Vaughn, I think, does evening wear so, so well. And then we have another shoe brand transitioning with bags, Mac and Mac. I love these shoes. I'm not sure if I would ever be able to pull one off, but similar to Jimmy Choo, a shoe company making bags just seems natural and kind of easy. The Mac and Mac bags, I think, are a little underrated. They're really, really cool. Those sparkled crystals in person are gorgeous. You're kind of giving a little bit, not understated obviously, but they're very simple in shape, or some of them are. And then that really pretty Mac and Mac bow, I think is a beautiful option. And whew, the Roberto Cavalli evening bags. Karen Britchick just wore one in her fashion week vlog, I believe in Paris, and when I tell you, I immediately Googled it and I was like, okay, that could be on a little list someday with the two cats like over the top handle of the bag, stunner. There are, I believe two different sizes, maybe a couple more. That bag could be so, so gorgeous. Get it in the bigger size if you want a little bit more room kind of utility, but I think that this is a gorgeous brand. And lastly, you know I don't like to pick favorites, but I kind of think this might be my new favorite brand, Rosantica. Need, you need look no further than Rosantica for evening bags. I think I found them on Essence and I was like, hello, what is this? Um, what is this? Kept looking, evening bags are their thing. I happen to love the kind of lattice check looking bag. Again, of course, because crystals and evening bags are pretty much one and the same at this point. I love the fact that it's a little bit more kind of geometric. It's classy, but still feels very fresh. This brand is amazing. Like you really couldn't ask for more. I love the combination of satin and crystals and then add in some metal there. They're doing an incredible, incredible job. I can't wait to hear all of your thoughts. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Which one is your favorite? And definitely stay tuned for my vintage version, the one that you'll have to do some more hunting for. Can't wait to see you in all of my future videos. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram at Layla Sophia Jewelry. Bye guys.